Let's ultrasound! On today's episode, we're taking a deep dive into the ultrasound knobology gallery. Today's control, the PRF or scale control. Before we can talk about the PRF or scale control on an ultrasound machine, we first have to address aliasing and the Nyquist limit. Aliasing is flow that is changing speed and direction, and it's either going to be due to vessel dynamics or improper settings on the machine. And with color Doppler, this appears as multiple colors displayed within a structure or a vessel. Or on spectral Doppler, this appears as the signal wraparound on a waveform. Artifactual velocities occur when the velocity of the flow has exceeded the Nyquist limit. Aliasing can also represent velocities that are true velocities within a vessel. Causes of true aliasing are vessel narrowing, such as a stenosis, a vessel branching, sharp turns in a vessel, such as a curvature in the vessel, and also within areas of turbulent flow within a vessel. Causes of artifactual aliasing are the use of Doppler angles over 60 degrees, or a PRF or scale setting that set too low. Now let's talk about the Nyquist limit. The important thing to know about Doppler is that Doppler has a limit and past this limit, the ultrasound machine can no longer measure the velocity of the flow because it's too high. And this limit is known as the Nyquist limit. It's the maximum limit of the Doppler shift that can be measured and displayed by an ultrasound machine. Above the Nyquist limit, aliasing occurs. If the range of displayed velocities is set too low, you're going to see aliasing within your vessel. And the Nyquist limit is half of the PRF, or pulse repetition frequency. Time to talk about the PRF. This is also known as a scale control on an ultrasound machine. Ultrasound pulses are transmitted at a certain frequency. The number of pulses of sound that occur in one second is known as the PRF, or pulse repetition frequency. The ultrasound PRF, or scale control, increases or decreases the range of velocity that the ultrasound machine can detect. With color Doppler, the scale control adjusts the range of velocities displayed on the color map. With spectral Doppler, the scale control adjusts the velocity range of the scale that's on the side of the waveform tracing. When the PRF is set too low, aliasing is going to occur within the vessel. On color Doppler, this will appear as multiple shades of color within the vessel. With spectral Doppler, the signal will wrap around. When the PRF control is set too high, the vessel is going to fail to fill all the way in with a color Doppler signal. A correct PRF or scale setting will allow the vessel to fill with color and will eliminate artifactual aliasing. With spectral Doppler, when the scale control is set too low, then the waveform is going to wrap around. If the PRF is set too high, the waveform will be very tiny and hard to visualize. Let's look at some color Doppler examples of the PRF or scale control. On the image in the far left, you'll see the rainbow of colors within the vessel. This is when the PRF is set too low and artifactual aliasing is occurring within that vessel because the velocity of the flow is exceeding the Nyquist limit. In the middle image, the PRF or scale control is set too high and color Doppler signal fails to fill in within the vessel. On the image to the far right, the PRF is set correctly. The vessel fills in nicely with a color signal and there's no aliasing present within the vessel. 